Hi all, Facehugger here with a brief public service message about stream sniping, ganking, seal clubbing, hunting noobs, and other so-called online abusive behaviors. Now, what's abusive versus what's just being better than the other guy? That's a hard one, right? Not really. First, don't think of it as binary, is or is not abusive. Think of abuse as being like the opposite of sportsmanship. And think of a slider between the two. Behavior can fall somewhere on this line. Second, consider three smaller sliders under that. Consent, advantage, and empathy. How much did my target consent to our interaction? Think of a punch in the face, right? It's a very different thing depending upon if I'm entering a sparring ring versus if I'm walking to the corner store. How much advantage did I have over my target? On the unfair extreme, there's out-and-out -out cheating. On the very balanced extreme, there's skill-ranked matches like how Destiny does Crucible. Most situations fall somewhere in between those two extremes. For example, if you're streaming Elite in open play in a hazardous but not PvP area, and then I find your stream and I attack you from behind without warning, mm, it's not either of the two extremes, but it leans towards the unfair side. And how much do I empathize with the other person? Am I doing the same thing repeatedly, even when my targets want me to stop? Do I post online about their delicious tears? Is my entertainment their only value to me? Do I take delight in destruction of their creations? Or do I value the noobs for what they'll grow into and the skilled players as opponents to be respected? Do I celebrate their wins and acknowledge their losses? Do I value what they're working toward? This isn't hard, folks. Games fall into one of two categories, play or competition. If a game is play, then we learn sportsmanlike behavior when we learn to share the swing set when we were six. If a game is competition, then we learn sportsmanlike behavior from our softball coaches, or soccer coaches, or karate coaches, or whatever. So la-dee-da, so what? Why not lean on one side of the spectrum, right? If I wasn't supposed to do this, then the game wouldn't let me. Well, the least important reason why not is that it might violate terms of service and you can end up with your account suspended, but you know what? Skip that. Even that argument is just the stinky trash bag around a much smellier problem, one that I call might makes right. Consider this. The real world is harsh enough. In real life, that's why we have laws and courts and cops and all of those work perfectly, right? If I don't stop hurting people online unless someone makes me stop, then I'm helping make the online world a place that is just as bad. I'm helping create a world here online where the strong take what they can and the weak suffer what they must. Okay, some folks say, you know, maybe I should just chill. Maine, it's just kidding around, it's just fun, it's harmless, it's not real, it's not like this is assault, I'm just sniping a stream, I'm poning a noob, it's not like I'm robbing a convenience store. But... Even if I don't get caught, even if there's nothing that my victims can do, even if I drive some away from the game and, and new ones come in and take their place and I drive those away and it's still just going on and on, if I'm destroying what someone else has worked to build, if I'm bringing combat to someone who wasn't wanting it from me, if I'm taking advantage, if, if really, guys, if I'm taking pleasure in the hurt of others, then that is the definition of abuse. Consider your friends, consider your family, consider your own self, and think about how you feel when someone's done them wrong. Do we want more of that in the world? I mean, we're all going to make a mistake, right? We're all going to ruffle feathers now and then, but you don't mean to make a habit of it. You're better than that. There are always some folks who are just going to prefer breaking things, then fixing them. There's always going to be those folks who lean towards the abusive side of the scale. For every good thing that someone builds, there's going to be those people who want to run down and tear down 10 of them. It's just a fact of life. It's faster to destroy than to create. It takes no training at all to harm people, but there's whole professions dedicated to helping people. It's easier to make people feel sad than it is to make them feel happy. I notice a pattern here. Why take the easy path, right? We're gamers. We're better than that. You've only got one life. Why not challenge yourself? So, think, in your interactions online, where's your behavior on the consent, advantage, and empathy sliders? How can you nudge them to the right a little bit? And if you see someone else engaging in behavior that looks like it's more on that abusive side of the scale to you, don't be silent. Don't just roll your eyes and say, oh, well. Have this little talk with them. Help spread the word about good sportsmanship as an alternative. There are enough dickheads out there screwing up the real world today because it's easy to do. 
I challenge you to stand out, be a real badass, do something different. Make the online world a better one. Thanks for listening.